सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिविजन आई यू अवेयर दैट ऑल ऑर्गेनिजम्स इवन द लार्जेस्ट स्टार्ट द लाइफ फ्रॉम अ सिंगल सेल यू मे वंडर हाउ अ सिंगल सेल देन गोज ऑन टू फॉर्म सच लार्ज ऑर्गेनिजम्स ग्रोथ एंड रिप्रोडक्शन आर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सेल्स इन डीड ऑफ ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स All cells reproduce by dividing into two, with each parental cell giving rise to two daughter cells each time they divide. These newly formed daughter cells can themselves grow and divide, giving rise to a new cell population that is formed by growth and division of a single parental cell and its progeny. In other words such cycles of growth and division allow a single cell to form a structure consisting of millions of cells cell cycle cell division is a very important process in all living organisms during the division of cell dna replication and cell growth also take place all these processes that is cell division dna replication and cell growth hence have to take place in a coordinated way to ensure correct division and formation of progeny cells containing intact genomes the sequence of events by which a cell duplicates its genome synthesizes the other constituents of the cell and eventually divides into two daughter cells is termed cell cycle although cell growth in terms of cytoplasmic increase is a continuous process dna synthesis occurs only during one specific stage in the cell cycle the replicated chromosomes dna are then distributed to daughter nuclei by a complex series of events during cell division these events are themselves under genetic control phases of cell cycle a typical eukaryotic cell is illustrated by human cells in culture these cells divide once in approximately every 24 hours however this duration of cell cycle can vary from organism to organism and also from cell type to cell type yeast for example can progress through the cell cycle in only about 90 minutes the cell cycle is divided into two basic phases one interphase and the second m phase also known as mitotic phase The M phase represents the phase when the actual cell division or mitosis occurs and the interphase represents the phase between two successive M phases. It is significant to note that in the 24 hour average duration of cell cycle of human cell, cell division proper lasts for only about an hour. The interphase lasts more than 95% of the duration of the cell cycle the m phase starts with the nuclear division corresponding to the separation of daughter chromosomes that is karyokinesis and usually ends with division of cytoplasm that is cytokinesis the interphase though called the resting phase is the time during which the cell is preparing for division by undergoing both cell growth and dna replication in an orderly manner the interphase is divided into three further phases g1 phase gap 1 s phase synthesis g2 gap 2 G1 phase corresponds to the interval between mitosis and initiation of DNA replication. During G1 phase, the cell is metabolically active and continuously grows but does not replicates its DNA. S or synthesis phase marks the period during which DNA synthesis or replication takes place. During this time the amount of DNA per cell doubles if the initial amount of DNA is denoted as 2c then it increases to 4c however there is no increase in chromosome number 
if the cell had diploid or 2n number of chromosomes at g1 even after s phase the number of chromosome remains the same that is 2n in animal cells during the s phase dna replication begins in the nucleus and the centriole duplicates in the cytoplasm during the g2 phase proteins are synthesized in preparation for mitosis while cell growth continues some cells in the adult animals do not appear to exhibit division example heart cells and many other cells divide only occasionally as needed to replace cells that have been lost because of injury or cell death these cells that do not divide further exit g1 phase to enter an inactive stage called quiescent stage g0 of the cell cycle cells in this stage remain metabolically active but no longer proliferate unless called on to do so depending on the requirement of the organism in animals mitotic cell division is only seen in diploid somatic cells however there are few exceptions to this where haploid cells divide by mitosis for example male honey bees against this the plants can show mitotic division in both haploid and diploid cells from your recollection of examples of alternation of generation in plants identify plant species and stages at which mitosis is seen in haploid cells m phase this is the most dramatic period of the cell cycle involving a major reorganization of virtually all components of the cell since the number of chromosomes in the parent and the progeny cells is the same it is also called as equational division though for convenience mitosis has been divided into four stages of nuclear division karyokinesis it is very essential to understand that cell division is a progressive process and very clear cut lines cannot be drawn between various stages karyokinesis involves following four stages prophase metaphase anaphase telophase prophase prophase which is the first stage of karyokinesis of mitosis follows the s and the g2 phases of interphase in the s and g2 phases the new dna molecules formed are not distinct but intertwined prophase is marked by initiation of condensation of chromosomal material the chromosomal material becomes untangled during the process of chromatin condensation the centrosome which had undergone duplication during s phase of interphase now begins to move towards opposite poles of the cell the completion of prophase can thus be marked by the following characteristic events chromosomal material condenses to form mitotic chromosomes chromosomes are seen to be composed of two chromatids attached together at centromere centrosome which had undergone duplication during interphase begins to move towards opposite poles of the cell each centrosome radiates out microtubules called asters the two asters together with spindle fibers form mitotic apparatus cells at the end of the prophase when viewed under the microscope do not show golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum nucleolus and nuclear envelope metaphase The complete disintegration of nuclear envelope marks the start of the second phase of mitosis hence the chromosomes are spread through the cytoplasm of the cell by this stage condensation of chromosome is completed and they can be observed clearly under the microscope this then is the stage at which morphology of chromosome is most easily studied at this stage metaphase chromosomes is made up of two sister chromatids which are held together by centromere 
small disc shaped structures at the surface of the centromeres are called kinetochores these structures serve as the sites of attachment of spindle fibers formed by the spindle fibers to the chromosomes that are moved into the position at the center of the cell hence the metaphase is characterized by all the chromosomes coming to lie at the equator with one chromatid of each chromosome connected by its kinetochore two spindle fibers from one pole and its sister chromatid connected by its kinetochore two spindle fibers from the opposite pole the plane of alignment of chromosomes at the metaphase is referred as the metaphase plate the key features of metaphase are spindle fibers attached to kinetochores of chromosomes chromosomes are moved to spindle equator and get aligned along metaphase plate through spindle fibers to both poles anaphase at the onset of anaphase each chromosome arranged at the metaphase plate is split simultaneously and the two daughter chromatids now referred to as daughter chromosomes of the future daughter nuclei begin their migration towards the opposite poles as each chromosome moves away from the equatorial plate the centromere of each chromosome remains directed towards the pole and hence at the leading edge with the arms of the chromosome trailing behind thus anaphase stage is characterized by following events centromeres split and chromatids separate chromatids move to opposite poles telophase At the beginning of the final stage of karyokinesis that is telophase the chromosomes that have reached their respective poles decondense and lose their individuality the individual chromosomes can no longer be seen and each set of chromatin material tends to collect at each of the two poles this is the stage which shows the following key events chromosome clusters at opposite spindle poles and their identity is lost as a discrete element nuclear envelope develops around the chromosome clusters at each pole forming two daughter nuclei nucleolus golgi complex and er reform cytokinesis mitosis accomplishes not only the segregation of duplicated chromosomes into daughter nuclei karyokinesis but the cell itself is divided into two daughter cells by separation of cytoplasm called cytokinesis at the end of which cell division get completed in an animal cell this is achieved by appearance of a furrow in the plasma membrane the furrow gradually deepens and ultimately joins in the center dividing the cell cytoplasm into two plant cells however are enclosed by a relatively inextensible cell wall therefore they undergo cytokinesis by a different mechanism in plant cells wall formation starts in the center of the cell and grows outward to meet the exist existing lateral walls The formation of the new cell wall begins with the formation of a simple precursor called the cell plate that represents the middle lamella between the walls of the two adjacent cells. At the time of cytoplasmic division, organelles like mitochondria and plastids get distributed between the two daughter cells. In some organisms karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis as a result of which multinucleate condition arises leading to formation of syncytium example liquid endosperm in coconut significance of mitosis mitosis or the equational division is usually restricted to the diploid cells only however in some lower plants and in some social insects haploid cells also divide by mitosis it is very essential to understand the significance of this division in the life of an organism are you aware of some examples where you have studied about haploid and diploid insects mitosis usually results in the production of 
deployed daughter cells with identical genetic complement the growth of multicellular organisms is due to mitosis cell growth results in disturbing the ratio between the nucleus and the cytoplasm it therefore becomes essential for the cell to divide to restore the nucleo cytoplasmic ratio a very significant contribution of, of mitosis is cell repair the cells of the upper layer of the epidermis cells of the lining of the gut and blood cells are being constantly replaced mitotic division in the meristematic tissue the apical and the lateral cambium result in a continuous growth of plants throughout their life meiosis the production of offspring by sexual reproduction includes the fusion of two gametes each with a complete haploid set of chromosomes gametes are formed from specialized diploid cells this specialized kind of cell division that reduces the chromosome number by half results in production of haploid daughter cells this kind of division is called meiosis meiosis ensures the production of haploid phase in the life cycle of sexually reproducing organisms whereas fertilization restores the diploid phase we come across meiosis during gametogenesis in plants and animals this leads to the formation of haploid gametes the key features of meiosis are as follows meiosis involves two sequential cycle of nuclear and cell division meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 but only a single cycle of dna replication Meiosis 1 is initiated after the parental chromosomes have replicated to produce identical sister chromatids at the S phase. Meiosis involves pairing of homologous chromosomes and recombination between non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. Four haploid cells are formed at the end of the meiosis 2. Meiotic events can be grouped under the following phases: meiosis one, prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, telophase one. Meiosis two, prophase two, metaphase two, anaphase two, telophase two. Meiosis one, prophase one. prophase of the first meiotic division is typically longer and more complex when compared to prophase of mitosis it has been further subdivided into following five phases based on chromosomal behavior that is leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene and diakinesis During leptotene stage the chromosomes become gradually visible under the light microscope the compaction of chromosome continues throughout the leptotene this is followed by the second stage of prophase 1 called zygotene during this stage chromosomes starts pairing together and this process of association is called synapsis such paired chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes Electron micrographs of this stage indicate that chromosome synapsis is accompanied by the formation of complex structure called synaptonemal complex. The complex formed by a pair of synapsed homologous chromosome is called a bivalent or a tetrad. However, these are more clearly visible at the next stage. The first two stages of prophase 1 are relatively short lived compared to the next stage that is pachytene. During this stage the four chromatids of each bivalent chromosomes become distinct and clearly appears as tetrads. This stage is characterized by the appearance of recombination nodules. the sites at which crossing over occurs between non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes crossing over is the exchange of genetic material between two homologous chromosomes crossing over is also an enzyme mediated process and the enzyme involved is called recombinase 
crossing over leads to recombination of genetic material on the two chromosomes recombination between homologous chromosomes is completed by the end of packetin leaving the chromosome linked at the sites of crossing over the beginning of diplotene is recognized by dissolution of synaptonemal complex and the tendency of the recombined homologous chromosomes of the bivalents to separate from each other except at the sites of the crossovers these x shaped structures are called chiasmata in oocytes of some vertebrates diplotene can last for months or years the final stage of the meiotic prophase 1 is diakinesis this is marked by terminalization of chiasmata during this phase the chromosomes are fully condensed and the meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosome for separation by the end of diakinesis the nucleolus disappears and the nuclear envelope also breaks down diakinesis represents the transition to metaphase metaphase 1 the bivalent chromosomes align on the equatorial plate the microtubules from the opposite poles of the spindle attach to kinetochore of the homologous chromosomes anaphase 1 the homologous chromosomes separate while sister chromatids remain associated at the at their centromeres telophase 1 the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus reappear cytokinesis follows and this is called as dyad of cells although in many cases the chromosomes do undergo some dispersion they do not reach the extremely extended state of the interface nucleus the stage between the two meiotic division is called interkinesis and is generally short lived there is no replication of dna during interkinesis interkinesis is followed by prophase 2 a much simpler prophase than prophase 1 meiosis 2 prophase 2 meiosis 2 is initiated immediately after cytokinesis usually before the chromosomes have fully elongated in contrast to meiosis 1 meiosis 2 resembles a normal mitosis the nuclear membrane disappears by the end of prophase 2 the chromosomes again become compact metaphase 2 at this stage the chromosome align at the equator and the microtubules from opposite poles of the spindle get attached to the kinetochores of sister chromatids anaphase 2 it begins with the simultaneous splitting of centromere of each chromosome which ha- which was holding the sister chromatids together allowing them to move toward opposite poles of the cell by shortening of microtubules attached to kinetochores telophase 2 meiosis ends with telophase 2 in which the two groups of chromosome once again get enclosed by a nuclear envelope cytokinesis follows resulting in the formation of tetrad of cells that is four haploid daughter cells significance of meiosis meiosis is the mechanism by which conservation of specific chromosome number of each species is achieved across generation in sexually reproducing organisms even though the process per se paradoxically results in reduction of chromosome number by half it also increases the genetic variability in the population of organisms from one generation to the next variations are very important for the process of evolution summary according to the cell theory cell arise from pre existing cells the process by which this occurs is called cell division any sexually reproducing organism start its life cycle from a single celled zygote cell division does not stop with the formation of mature organism 
but continues throughout its life cycle the stages through which a cell passes from one division to the next is called the cell cycle cell cycle is divided into two phases called interphase a period of preparation for cell division and mitosis m phase the actual period of cell division interphase is further subdivided into g1 s and g2 g1 phase is the period when the cell grows and carries out normal metabolism most of the organelle duplication also occurs during this phase s phase marks the phase of dna replication and chromosome duplication g2 phase is the period of cytoplasmic growth mitosis is also divided into four stages namely prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase chromosome condensation occurs during prophase simultaneously the centrioles move to the opposite poles the nuclear envelope and the nucleolus disappear and the spindle fiber start appearing metaphase is marked by alignment of chromosomes at the equatorial plate during anaphase the centromeres divide and the chromatids start moving toward the opposite poles once the chromatids reach the two poles the chromosomal elongation starts nucleolus and the nuclear membrane reappear this stage is called the telophase nuclear division is then followed by cytoplasmic division and is called cytokinesis mitosis thus is the equational division in which the chromosome number of the parent is conserved in daughter cell in contrast to mitosis meiosis occurs in diploid cells which are destined to form gametes it is called the reduction division since it reduces the chromosome number by half while making the gametes in sexual reproduction when the two gametes fuse the chromosome number is restored to the value in the parent meiosis is divided into two phases meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in the first meiotic division the homologous chromosome pair to form bivalents and undergo crossing over meiosis 1 has a long prophase which is divided further into five phases these are leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene and diakinesis during metaphase 1 the bivalents arrange on equatorial plate this is followed by anaphase 1 in which homologous chromosomes move to the opposite poles with both their chromatids each pole receives half the chromosome number of the parent cell in telophase 1 the nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear meiosis 2 is similar to mitosis During anaphase 2 the sister chromatid separate thus at the end of meiosis four haploid cells are formed Thank you